Hi guys, we're going to make our mitten pattern projects today. We're using Dawson's hand as the example. So here's Dawson's hand. He has his hand on his paper horizontally, okay, going across horizontally, not vertically, horizontally. Okay, so I will come around and I'm going to trace your hand with a pencil. I'm going to use a marker on, on this one so you can see it easier on the paper. So I'll take it and I'll go and I'll go around your thumb, but then I'll make a big mitten. Okay, and then I'll go back off the page. Thanks, Dawson. Go sit real quick. Okay, so here's my mitten. Okay, because when you're done, they're going to look super cool like the example. Okay, and to start, you're going to make a line across your thumb. See how I made that line across the thumb? So you'll do that first. So go ahead. Okay, then next thing you're going to do between your, your wrist and the edge of the paper, you're going to make a line going, going vertically. And then you're going to make another one where the thumb meets your wrist and where uh, the glove, the mitten part meets the wrist. So there's two lines. We're going to have six lines total. So there's one, two. Then I'm going to make one in the middle of my thumb. Then I'm going to make one just in front of my thumb. And then I'm going to make two more. One, two. Okay, so now... I have my mitten, all the sections ready to put my patterns in, but I'm going to make two more lines horizontally on my thumb. One, two. Okay. Now, each section is going to get filled with a pattern. Like I might do triangles on this one that go across. So there's one triangle. There's two triangles. There's three triangles. Okay. And then I color it in. I'm going to make a circle in the wide parts at the top and the bottom and I'll make a half a circle here because it looks like it's wrapping around my wrist okay then in my thumb maybe I'll make squiggly lines now you can make any kind of patterns you want to it'll be up to you okay then bless you and then maybe I'll make a like a diagonal checkers on one okay and then maybe in this one I'll make oh I don't know um, I'll make snowflakes by making an X with a plus sign, X with a plus sign, X with a plus sign, X plus sign, X plus sign, X plus sign, okay? So each one is going to have a different design in it. Maybe on this one, I'll just do straight lines or horizontal lines, which are vertical because I've turned my paper the other direction, and then in the middle of it, I will make, um, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll make zigzags going across it, like this. You can do whatever you want, though. I'm just showing you some different, different ideas of things you could do, but it's going to be up to you. Once you fill it in, okay, then you'll color it in, and that's the next video, okay? So when it's done, it's going to look like, of course, I moved my example. I can't find my pencil anymore. Okay, here it is. All right, here we go.